NGO was invited to come into New Zealand by a colleague that we had worked with for many years. We entered New Zealand to assist with uh, the whole post-earthquake recovery. And in the course of doing that, we got familiar with Greg and the team of geoscience, and it was instant love. And we ultimately joined forces literally within just a couple of months. I guess it was uh, serendipity really, it was just a chance meeting, uh, we, we headed off, you know, there was just this positive energy and we just clicked. Probably more importantly than the technical side of things is the, the business side and the culture side. And the culture's probably, you know, it's, it's number one. You know, that culture's evolved over a number of years through NGO in the US and we've been able to tap into that at a stage which is much further down the track than we were at. I love many things about the culture of NGO, but it really is about the power of the individual in the context of the whole. I work with some awesome people and that's a big part of what makes me love coming to work every day. Naomi is super <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it's just fun. Every day is a great day. NGO's culture is the type of culture where there are no offices. I guess when I first hired on with NGO, it felt like a, a, just a glove fit right on my hand, and it just was a natural fit. One thing that I love about NGO is how people just welcoming, um, happy to have a laugh, and but really get down to work as well. I I love I love the, our ability just to get in and get stuff done. NGO is family. We have noonies once a month where the whole company gets together and just it's a really informal way of catching up and finding out how everything's going. I love the people from uh, the staff to the leadership. I trust it, love the direction it's going, and I love geology. Really, the future for NGO is about leading change rather than reacting to it. In the next two decades, there'll be dramatic changes in everything we do and we want to be leading those changes. That spirit and entrepreneurship and just wanting to get things done down here, they call it the Kiwi way. Well, they call it the NGO way.